Hey folks, welcome back to yet another video. In this video, we're going to talk, uh, talk about the criteria to enter Goa. And if you're wondering about the COVID situation, if you're wondering about how to enter Goa amidst a pandemic, whether you would require to produce your RT-PCR test or whether not. So we are going to cover that in this video. Whenever you are entering Goa at any of the entry points, they would ask you for your RT-PCR test. If you are double vaccinated, from your second dose you have to complete 15 days or you would again be requiring an RT-PCR test. At every entry point, if you haven't carried, they do the antigen test. Okay, but to be double sure, I would suggest you do the RT-PCR test at your location and travel in, uh, into Goa. Okay, so your RT-PCR test has to be uh, valid for 72 hours, so please make a note of that as well. Now, if you enter into Goa and if you have come with the intention of going and entering into a casino, they would ask you again for an RT-PCR test, which is mandatory, which is prescribed by the state government. If you are double vaccinated, that certificate is fine. But remember, the criteria for double vaccination is 15 days from your second dose has to be complete. Now, if you have entered Goa, I would suggest go into a casino on the first day, the second day. And if you still have more money left and want to go on the third and the fourth, and your RT-PCR test has expired, then you may have to do a test in Goa. Now, to guide you about a few centers in Goa and the cost for an RT-PCR test, you have a lot of private labs, you have a lot of hospitals that are doing the RT-PCR test. Like in the north, you have Manipal, you have Healthway, you have uh, different other labs that are doing your test there. In the south, you have your Victor Hospital, you have Classic Hospital, you have Suburban, you have besides the government centers that are doing it for you as well. But just a, a, a small touch on the costing. The RT-PCR test at these centers would range somewhere between 1,600 to 2,800. Would roughly take you about 12 to 24 hours to get your reports. So be informed about that. So you know, because if you're planning, you can plan your itinerary accordingly. Also remember, the government facility does the RT-PCR test for you. It is chargeable, somewhere to the tune of 1,100, but if you enter a government facility, no payment from you will be accepted there. You have to go to the collectorate, do your payment there, collect a receipt, then go to the government facility for an RT-PCR. So going by that, I would suggest that you'd get it done from a private uh, center, wherein it would be more easier for a traveler than a local, because getting into a collectorate and getting all that might be a bit of a hassle for you guys. So it will be better that you all get it done from, uh, from any of the private labs around. Now, with regard to the restaurant scene in Goa, restaurants are open, okay? Currently, they have been told to operate on a 50% capacity with proper tables um, sp spaced out. Do follow your SOPs wherever you all go. Do wear your face masks, do carry your sanitizers, be away from a crowd and enjoy accordingly, okay? So, together we can work on keeping Goa to be safe from the pandemic. So, res let's responsibly enjoy, okay? And do uh, visit Goa, it's a beautiful place. Show us some love, do like and subscribe to our channel. And we are going to come up with many more videos. We are also going to tell you all about if you're wondering how many days to holiday in Goa. We are going to cover all that in our following videos. Stay tuned.